Well, boys, it's another day back out here at Elevated AF, and uh, it's fixing to be a real busy week here. So we got some new trucks in. We'll go over those in a minute. But in the meantime here, we've been working on two very special trucks. So the first one here is an international pickup truck. And if you didn't know, International, back in the day, they actually made some pickup trucks. And uh, we bought this one off a uh, guy in town here. Actually, it's not too far away from the shop. Anyways, it uh, was very rusty, very dusty, and uh, everything above. It actually had these wheels and tires on it, which they weren't too bad. We actually kept them for the build here, and uh, we did some serious work to the chassis, got it all stripped down, powder coated, got the truck all painted, put some new lights in it, all sorts of crazy stuff. It is now finished, though, so this one's ready to be rolled out into the showroom. And then another truck we got here is this Cummins Mega Cab Dually. This is one big old truck. We actually bought this truck mostly done, except the lift and a few little accessories were uh, unfinished on it. So we got the lift all powder coated, all the rest of the parts installed, brand new lights, grill, a few other little things here and there, but the truck came out sick. So I just gotta jump up here and shut the hood. Oh man, I might have some trouble with this one. Uh, can, can I jump up on the wheel here? Yeah, got it. The only thing it is missing is uh, our hood stack outlet pipe. The internal pipe is there, just uh, not the tip for it. So it's going to look a little bit weird for the time being. But regardless, this thing turned out wicked. Now you might be asking, Austin, why the heck is there no hitch on this thing? Well, it didn't come with one, so we didn't put one on here. It's pretty much a showpiece. That's all this thing will probably ever be until somebody inevitably puts a hitch on it. But for now, it's not going to have one. And I sure as heck ain't going to put one on it. Now, we already may have a buyer for this one. So kind of just waiting to hear back on that. But for the meantime, it'll go in the showroom. That is if it fits. Now we'll make it fit. There we go. We got it. This thing would actually look super sick towing a boat. That's for sure. And we'll get the international in the showroom here too. We've been doing a lot of older trucks recently and I've been loving it. So I don't think we're going to stop anytime soon. We have got just an absolute fleet going here and I probably should be getting rid of a few of them here sooner and later. I just, I like them all. So it's, it's hard to part with them. There's been a time or two where I've gotten a pretty decent offer on a few of these trucks that I just haven't taken it because I like them too much and I, I kind of want to fetch top dollar for them. So who knows? Maybe I'll, I'll start actually selling some of these, but the showroom's not quite full yet. So we, we can stack a few more in there before I got to do anything like that. Anyways, onto the trucks that were brought in. So this is a Chevy Tahoe. It's kind of like a suburban style SUV. Uh, we bought it at auction. It's got no motor in it. It was supposed to be a show build and uh, I should correct myself actually. Actually, it does have a motor. It's the stock gas one in it and it's blown up. At any rate, it has an FTS lift in it. It's got some paint match. That's literally it to this thing. But I got some plans here. I, I got to thinking when I seen this come up for auction, I'm like, I wonder if we could stuff a Duramax in there. So I ordered a Duramax. I don't know if it's going to fit yet, but uh, that's going to be one of the guys challenges this week. And also here we got a fourth gen Ram 2500. It's a Cummins. It's got a few little things done to it. It's like a work truck. I don't know where it came out of exactly, but uh, I think we're going to do it up a little bit because uh, trucks like this how this is built uh don't really sell around here so we're gonna do a little something to it and make it a little bit better although i do kind of look like the look of it right now it just could be a little bit better so this one runs but the tahoe not so much oh boy i might have just sent this truck off the side uh we'll just act like that didn't happen i think we'll be redoing the suspension anyway so if anything got wrecked we'll blame it on one of the shop guys well this should be fun these tahoes are normally pretty light but uh this one's got a few things done to it so i don't know how it's gonna go hmm and we might be okay. And that's what I like to call good enough. And we'll get this one going up here too. Well, we are on our way from the shop here to go pick up a truck for a customer's build here. Normally we don't do that, but the customer called me up. We've had this build plan for a little while now. And uh, he said, hey man, I, I can't get the truck to start. So I'm like, not a problem. I'll be right over since he's just in town here. Figured we'd go uh, help him out a little bit. And here it is, good old Chevy. Figures why it won't start, I guess. I don't know how the heck I'm going to get this thing on the trailer. I guess I'll have to I use the winch, turn the wheels a bit. You might get it on there. Anyways, there's kind of a cool story 
with this truck. The guy bought it from the county, which explains why there's a beacon on top. He's the first daily driver for a little bit. Now he wants to build a big old SEMA truck out of it. So I said, not a problem. We can do that. That'll do it. We got the truck. And since it's not running, that's not really a problem because it is getting a brand new motor swap as well. So he should be real happy with that. Although I think it's just maybe a quick carb fix and this thing should be up and running. Although I'm thinking it's a fuel filter issue since uh, he wasn't really getting fuel or it could have been a fuel pump but we might try to fix it before uh we get too far in with the build here because it's a little bit nicer when things can just drive two minutes flat my guys were able to get this thing running that's how easy it is one thing i did ask the guy is uh did the county have the truck painted like this or did you get it painted and he's like no i i painted it like oh that's that's kind of interesting because the paint job looks a little bit weird well yeah he, he did it with a rattle can so it's a good thing we're giving this thing a professional paint job but that won't be happening for a little bit first we got to uh take all the frame parts out of here get some measurements and make sure the new lift that we have for it fits up she goes fair enough day i take it out of the shop deal closes on it well i guess she's on the trailer and it's out of here it's probably a good thing this sold because if it didn't i probably would have made a matching boat for it and sold it that way but now she's gone and that's the end of that and guess what it's not the only cummins leaving today but i know what you're thinking austin that's that's not a cummins it's a ford well it's a ford with a cummins in it so counts for something although it's probably good this thing sold we've had it for a long time easy now let's not drop it off the trailer before it uh is out of here you know i was just thinking this looks like a very very nice ramp it's actually a good thing i don't have any toys around here or else uh they'd be getting launched off this thing yep i should not be left unsupervised well it's the next day here and uh, i just got into the shop but as i walked in i had one of the guys ask me hey uh you, you going to atlantic city truck show i was like oh son of a gun that's this week so I guess I'm not going. I'm sending one of the guys to go there, but we got to load up a semi with uh, this whole setup right here. So this whole setup's going to be going. It's going to have a big old for sale sign on it because I want to get this thing out of here. Even though it's a great display, uh, this was originally for a customer. Customer uh, just never showed up. So yeah, I guess we own it. At any rate, I hope it can fit on the semi here. I guess we'll find out. I think we did si something similar for SEMA last year, but I'm not too sure if it actually worked or not. All right, let's see if this trailer has the length. Oh boy, might be a bit sketchy here. Oh, we might have it. Oh, I really don't know if this is gonna fit. There you go, how you like that? It actually fits. I didn't think it would, but we got it. Barely got the ramps up there. Had to uh, actually load this thing a completely different way without the ramps. We just had to drive right over top of them. But the whole setup's on the trailer and that's all that matters. So uh, one of my guys is gonna be leaving with this here shortly, but I gotta stick around at the shop because all well, the business ain't gonna run itself. Well, boys, it's been about a week here and the Cummins is finished we still got two more trucks to do here but uh this one's ready to go and it came out looking killer we ended up swapping the headlights for some alpha x headlights got a brand new grill in there paint matched brand new bumper well same bumper but it's paint matched it's got a brand new six or uh, i'd say around four probably four inch lift front and rear track bars rock lights alpha x tail lights a little spicy tune on it to uh give her a little more get up and go and it's possibly already sold i'm not too sure yet but in the meantime i actually have something very cool to go pick up and uh we're gonna use this truck for it because i want to go test it out a little bit by the way big shout out to ddc modding for this truck i'll have his patreon link down in the description check it out i have wanted this for a very very long time it is a mini jet boat we'll take a better look at it here in a second but yeah this thing's pretty dang crazy so big shout out to wheelman fab for this mod it is still a very early version so a lot of stuff's gonna be tweaked it's a tad bit big right now but that'll get fixed anyways we got this one custom done here it has af on the deck here on the back and the front as well it's in the red for the shop here it just came out so dang perfect it's a two-seater it's got way more horsepower than it ever needs and i'm thinking this thing has to go out on the lake here pretty soon also, I may have the perfect vehicle for this thing, but it's not quite finished yet. Anyways, in the meantime, it's getting parked in the back, and I think I have a guy coming to look at the Cummins here. Well, it's been nonstop busy here at Elevated AF, but I think it has been a worthwhile couple of days here because we have turned out something super sick. We'll get to the massive Chevy here in a second, but the Tahoe, I can't believe how good this thing turned out. The one thing I forgot to mention when we did buy this thing, it was cat eye front 
front end swap so i believe it had the front end out of an 06 don't quote me on that cat eye but we spruced it up a lot more from what it was we added some brand new headlights to it along with a few little grill lights and a cow hood which i gotta say looks killer moon visor because why the heck not grill guard we finished up the fts lift on it which with the powder coat now it just it pops had to go with some boggers and american force wheels because you know why the heck not and i gotta say this is like one of the coolest builds we've done in a very long time i know i say that all the time but this actually it, it goes too hard and we decided to pair it with my brand new mini jet boat and i think this is gonna be one sweet lake setup now the go light on top we put one on there a lot of people have them on their vehicles they're really useless but this one actually serves a purpose if you're going down to the boat dock it's late you need to unload or load up your boat you just turn that on back turn it on and uh well you got lots of light but there's still a cooler part yet to this vehicle you pop open the back hood look at that there's a whole stunt wall but huge shout out to mclean modding for this mod i'll just patreon link down in the description he does some killer work but now on to uh well this so this is the crazy lift that this guy wanted and uh we had this custom made it, it's something all right it's something it's got wheel lights tis wheels some stretch looking tires on it personally i would have went with a bogger setup but that's just me some super sweet headlights in it and with a brand new motor this sucker's really dang loud. Also, it does have both drive shafts, so uh, that's a plus, I guess. But at any rate, it is a very, very big truck. It even towers over my uh, F-250 here. Look at that. Just towers over it. That is nuts. Anyways, he should be here to check it out in a little bit. It's got to get a few little things tuned up on it. Also, the interior is very basic right now, so we're going to fix that as well. That and he wants a hitch put on it. So I guess we're going to be putting a hitch, a big old drop hitch on it. Also, I'm not sure if I mentioned this on the Tahoe yet, but it is Duramax swap now. We did fit a Duramax in, which is, uh, I think, honestly, the most important part to this whole thing. Because who doesn't want a Duramax swap Tahoe? And yes, with the jet boat on, it does have a little bit of a baby lean, but it's all right. We'll let it slide this time. So if you look at it from the front, it looks like it's you got a big old cat eye coming at you, but go to the side, looks a little more interesting. Kind of looks like a Dodge Durango a little bit to me. I've always kind of loved them, especially if they're lifted up. So this just kind of takes the cake now. But I think I may have to go into the lake because I really want to test this out. But hope you all enjoyed. Subscribe and goodbye.